my name is Logan, and today I'm going to show you how to play Digital Tamers 2 on your Steam Deck. So I'm on their website. Any links, anything like that will be in the description below. And we're going to hit download now. And then just take me to the download. So from here, we want to get the PC version of the game. Now, once that's done downloading, I dragged and dropped it onto my desktop. So that's this right here. Now we're going to go to Steam. And from here, I already added it. There's kind of some weird, funny things happening. So I'm going to keep this here. But in order to add the game to Steam, you want to hit add game on the bottom left. Add a non Steam game. Browse. And then from here, desktop is already selected. And then I would select Digital Tamers 2. Hit open. So we can actually do that. And it'll show that this is being added here. And then we would hit add selected programs. So I'm going to cancel since we've already done that. So it'll be added to your list here. We're going to right click this and go to properties. Go to compatibility. And then from here, this is usually not checkmarked. We're going to checkmark it. And here, I like to switch it. These are more stable releases. Proton Experimental will probably work just fine. But that's constantly changing. So I'm going to switch this to Proton 9. And then we're going to close. Now, this is totally a preference thing. You could play the game right now. But really, the game will only be able to be played via touchscreen. And a lot of the controls and things will not work. So what I recommend doing is clicking this little gamepad icon. And this already saved my profile. But what you're going to want to do is go to the very top here and hit hit it and then we're going to go to templates and then from here we're going to switch to the keyboard and mouse and then this is just kind of showing an example of what it's going to do i'm just going to hit apply layout and then here i'm going to further edit the layout everything works just fine but during combat in this game i like pressing the buttons so i'm going to do that so the a key here is going to be the block and then we're going to hit B for some of the attacks. X is the other attack. And then Y here will be the jump button. And then for the ultimate, I just like this button here. And that really helps us with combat. You can still click on the individual icons to use them. But using buttons uh, just makes the combat a little better. All right, so now I'm backing out. So the game is playable now. You just hit the play button, it's good to go. Now, for possibly uh, switching your save file with your PC, your mobile device, whatever, so you can play it on your Steam Deck, it's a little tricky because non-Steam games, when they're saved onto the Steam Deck, they create these like folder chains that are crazy, and it's really hard to find your save file. So if you go into your folder system here, your file manager. Um, I already have it here. So what we want to do is hit the root down here and under devices. And we're going to go to search and we're just going to type in digital tamers two. Okay. So this last folder here is the one we want. So going in here, you can see your save file. So what you want to do, depending on how this looks up here, really you just need to go back a folder. Um, for me, I have to kind of click this here and then hit roaming. Here we go. So this is the folder here. What we want to do is right click and then add to places. So here we can just click on it now and get to our save a lot faster. So in a future video, I'll probably make one that shows how to get your save file to the new update. And I think there are a couple ways we can do that. Now, if you guys have any questions at all about this process or about the game, whatever, leave them down in the comment. Hopefully this is helpful. Consider subscribing. It really does help us out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in Digital Tamers 2.